So, Uber's flying cars turn out to be helicopters after all, because Uber Copter is actually launching. Oh, wait, apparently Uber Copter is different from Uber Elevate. Hey everyone, this is Kevin the Entrepreneur, and I have openly mocked, and I mean openly mocked, um, Uber's little Uber Elevate program. This was going to be their flying car. It's going to fly from here to there. It's going to do all these things. And then when they had a prototype of it, I mocked it some more, saying that's not a flying car. That's a helicopter. You've got a helicopter service. And, you know, at one point, other transportation companies were talking about using helicopters to transport people, you know, long but fairly short distances, and it never quite took off. Well, apparently Uber is still pushing forward with it because coming soon, Uber to offer helicopter rides in New York City. And by the way, this is not their Uber Elevate program. No, no, no. That's still the flying car. This is specifically a helicopter, even though I personally don't think it looks any different from what their flying car prototype looks like. So anyway, looking at this, Uber Technologies Inc. is testing a helicopter service. Let me close that in New York City, according to documents outlining the program obtained by Bloomberg. Passengers will be able to use the Uber app to book a flight through the service called Ubercopter. The documents show test flights took off from a Manhattan heliport near Wall Street to John F. Kennedy International Airport. Okay. After Bloomberg asked Uber for comment Wednesday, the New York Times published a story about the program it says customers will be able to book flights starting July 9th in New York City and that the average ride will cost 200 to $225 a person. So really not the most economic way to fly. Eric Allison, the head of Uber's flight business, told the Times that the company plans to eventually offer helicopter rides in other cities. A spokesperson for Uber declined to comment. Helicopters have been whisking travelers from Manhattan to nearby airports for decades. Now a startup called Blade Urban Air Mobility Inc. even lets customers book using an app. It currently offers regular flights from Manhattan to three airports six days a week for as little as $1.95. Quote, there may be no greater validation of Blade's strategy than Uber entering the urban air mobility market in New York City, said Blade CEO Rob Weisenthal. Weisenthal? I think it's Weisenthal. And, and yeah, actually, I kind of agree with him on that. Like, if Uber wants to get on it, then you know that, you know, they at least want in on that market. Now... What I find really more interesting about that is that they entered the market and they didn't undercut his price because that's typically been Uber's strategy, undercut the price and therefore you can get ahead in the competition. But they didn't do it this time, maybe because helicopters, they have to actually own and rent. So, you know, it's like, oh, well, we, we kind of have our own expenses on this one. I mean, when it comes to cars, you know, freight, whatever, the drivers handle that. They're, that's what the independent contractors scam. I'm sorry. <clears throat> status is for so that they can pay for our business while we collect the money in this case they probably couldn't do that though because they have how many people do you know own a helicopter in the backyard so they're doing that but yeah it's probably uh rob is probably right that that's a validation that this could be something however we have yet to see as Uber geared up last month for America's largest initial public offering since 2014, the company emphasized its investment in various modes of transportation. In addition to the world's largest ride-hailing service for cars, it operates self-driving vehicles. <laughs> operates. That, that, I'd say they operates. That's a very, very loose word. Um, electric bicycles, scooter rentals, and now helicopters. Next week, Uber will host a conference about flying Uber and urban transportation in Washington. I bet they will. When the Uber Copter arrives next month, it will only be available to members of the company's loyalty program who qualify for the top two tiers, Platinum and Diamond, said a person familiar with the plans. The rides can be booked on demand or up to five days ahead of time, said the person who asked not to be identified. Each helicopter can accommodate five passengers, and like Uber car rides, prices will fluctuate based on demand and other factors. Oh, yeah, because that's what you want. You want, like, a helicopter which is definitely a bit of an investment to have fluctuating price well okay it granted I, I i should stop being a little cynical right there because i can see people are going to start commenting in the comments and they'd be right to point out like well but you know airplanes i mean sometimes you get 50 dollar airfare on JetBlue and southwest during slow times where it's like hey they just kind of need people to fill the plane so they offer a discount and clearly they can make money off that but you know when it's busy yeah you're 
charging you $300. You're not getting a discount. So that would be a little unfair to, to say that. So let's see here. The documents on Uber's test flight show it shuttled two groups of riders on April 11th. The rides from Manhattan to JFK and back took five passengers each way. The documents list the names of Uber employees on the manifest. According to the documents, passengers are greeted with, Hello, welcome to Uber Copter. Okay. So, anyway, there you have it. Uber is... And we have, like, a video here. Do they have, like, a, a shot of the Uber Copter here? Or are they just, like, showing all the money that they're losing. In fact, in fact, let's refresh this. Maybe maybe we can actually see what this copter looks like. That's one of the disadvantages to letting the video play in the background. While you're preparing for the story, is that sometimes the relevant information isn't there. Oh, and we're gonna have to, of course, we would have to watch an ad that just dawned on me. So, well, anyway, uh, while that's loading, so, Here's the thing, I actually don't object to Uber getting into the helicopter business. That's perfectly fine. But for all intents and purposes, that's their flying car. It's a helicopter, and I think that is way more likely for them to be getting into the helicopter business. Um, let's see here, do we actually have that, or do we just have Dastardly Dara speaking the whole time? Now we just have Dastardly Dara speaking the whole time, you jerk. Anyway, you, you a-hole. Sorry. Sorry, Mom. So anyway, yeah, it's them getting into the helicopter business makes a lot more sense in the flying car business. That is actually doable. Whether they can do it on a grand scale, that's another matter altogether. However, Uber does need to make other little businesses that make the money. They have at least one business that makes money. We'll be talking about in the next video. Would would Uber Copter be one of them? Eh, possibly. It might be profitable on a small scale, but it could be profitable. I think especially for like Wall Street millionaires and Broadway stars, these kind of people. Uh, actors, they, they could easily afford to do this and probably would. They wouldn't think twice about it, to be honest. So whoever runs the Uber Copter probably going to be meeting a lot of very important people during this transaction. And helicopters are pretty safe for the most part. So anyway, I'm going to leave it there. We're going to talk about other stories in a minute or two. So you know the drill. Comment below, like, favorite, share, subscribe. If you enjoy my videos, consider becoming a Patreon member. It's totally optional, of course, but even as little as one dollar a month goes a long way. Helping the channel run smoothly and you get access to my Patreon's exclusive blog. Also, subscribe to my Entrepreneur Vlogs channel. And if gas prices are getting you a little low, check out the GetUpside app below. It's totally free, but you get cash back on every gas purchase. And if you want to talk to me or other fellow uh, drivers or content creators, check us out at the Entrepreneur Hangouts. And as always, the lane responsibly. Have a good one.